You're up early. You wanna see that girl? If you know what's good for you, you'll be on that train when it pulls out of the station this morning. You hear me? I'm gonna go for a walk. for Oberlin soon. Why'd you even go on a walk with me? Your mother told me not to. She doesn't want me seeing you. What did I ever do to your mother? She thinks you'll keep me here. You're going to Oberlin. Then you're going to Italy. I can already see you in a gondola floating down the Venice Canal. It's gondola. And I see you in Paris. <laughs> in a quaint little cafe where you can watch people and write your stories. You can tell your mother, I promise I would never keep you here. She thinks you'll ask me to... To what? <laughs> would you? Would I what? Would you? Good afternoon. Please, allow me to introduce myself. Percival, is this what you meant when you said you were busy today? Mother invited her friend's son to come in from Akron. Percival, you must stay with this fop. What difference does it make to me? Just I don't suppose it should make any difference to you. You've certainly never asked me to be your girl. We have no understanding. So you were just stringing me along? You know, they got a word for girls like you. But that is no way to speak to a lady. Hey, you stay out of this. I thought your mother said you were no longer bound up with the life of this town. My, Perhaps she was mistaken. My mother... She also said that there was no one here fit to associate with the girl of Helen's breeding. 
only lazy hicks and worthless rubes. I believe I have to agree with her opinions. I can't believe I thought you were someone worthwhile. But you'll never leave Waynesburg. <laughs> you'll never be anybody. Well? Will you help me with my trunks? You know, there's only one thing that could keep me in Winesburg. But I want you to be beautiful, Helen. And you can't be beautiful here. If you look at pictures of my mother before she married my father, she was so beautiful. I can be beautiful. For you, Paul. I don't want to be the one who takes your dreams away. <sighs> but I, I, I feel so much. I... Then tell me. Tell me you'd be happy here as a housewife. Tell me you'd be happy living in a convenience store apartment building. Tell me that this would be enough for you, and I swear to God, I'll do whatever I can to make it enough for me, too. Tell me. Tell me, Helen. Do you want a life here in Winesburg? Sharp one now, son. Keep an eye on your money. Be awake. Yes, sir. I'm sure you'll be in every story he writes.
confront them head on, 